fast and slow pointers, a powerful pattern where you use two pointers and move them at different speeds. It can help you solve multiple linked lists and array related problems like finding cycles in a linked list, finding middle node of a linked list, or detecting cyclic properties in arrays. The beauty of this pattern lies in how efficiently it solves these types of problems. It only uses O of n time and O of only space complexity. Plus, you can solve these types of problems in just one pass through the data. In this video, you will learn what the fast and slow pointer is, when to use it, and I will walk you through multiple lead code problems to help you understand it better. I will also share some more lead code problems you can practice afterwards to master this pattern. Alright, so what exactly is the fast and slow pointers pattern? Let's use a real world example. Imagine two runners A and B on a circular track. Runner A is running faster than runner B. Since the track is circular, at some point, runner A will catch up to and pass runner B. This is essentially how the fast and slow pointer pattern works. It uses two pointers. One pointer moves slowly, while the other moves faster. If there is a cycle in the data structure, both pointers will eventually enter the cycle. Then, the fast pointer will catch up to and pass the slower one. Now let's go through some actual lead code problems to see this pattern in action. Just a quick note, if at any point you feel like pausing the video and trying out the problem yourself, I encourage you to do that. The first problem is lead code 141, linked list cycle. You are given a linked list and you need to check if it contains a cycle. A cycle in a linked list occurs when a node's next pointer points back to a previous node. One straightforward approach to solve this problem is by using a hash set to track the nodes we have already visited. Here is how it works. Start at the head of the linked list. For each node, check if it's already in the hash set. If it is, you have found a cycle as you are revisiting one of the previous nodes. If not, add the current node to the hash set. If you reach the end of the list without revisiting any nodes, then there is no cycle. This method is simple to implement, but there is a catch. It uses extra memory to keep track of the nodes you have already seen. If there is no cycle in the linked list, it will end up storing all the nodes in the hash. This leads to a space complexity of order of n, where n is the number of nodes. We can do better by avoiding the extra memory. And this is where the fast and slow pointer technique comes in. Here is the idea. Initialize two pointers, slow and fast, both starting at the head of the linked list. Move the slow pointer one step at a time and the fast pointer two steps at a time. There are two possible outcomes. The slow and fast pointers meet. If this happens, there is a cycle in the linked list. Or the fast pointer reaches the end of the list. In this case, there is no cycle. But why does this work? Let's break it down. The fast pointer enters the cycle first. Once the slow pointer enters the cycle, the fast pointer is already inside the cycle. The fast pointer gets closer to the slow pointer by one step each time they both move within the cycle. Eventually, the fast pointer will be right behind the slow pointer and on the next move, they will meet. Before we move on to the next problem, I wanted to let you know that I will be creating more such videos on lead code patterns. So be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss my new videos. Let's move on to the second problem. Lead code 876, middle of the linked list. You are given a linked list and you need to return the middle node. If the list has an odd number of nodes, return the middle one. But if the list has an even number of nodes, you need to return the second of the two middle nodes. One simple way to solve this problem is by counting the number of nodes in the linked list, then starting at the beginning and moving forward by half the total number of nodes. This approach works and it's efficient in terms of time and space complexity. But the drawback is that you need to traverse the linked list twice, first to count the nodes and second to actually find the middle node. We can make this solution more efficient by using the fast and slow pointers technique, which will allow us to find the middle node in just one pass. Here is how it works. We start with two pointers, slow and fast, both at the head of the linked list. Move the slow pointer one step at a time and the fast pointer two steps at a time. When the fast pointer reaches the end of the linked list, the slow pointer will be at the middle node. This method works whether the list has an odd or even number of nodes. Here I'm using Java, but you can find code for other popular programming languages in my GitHub repository called Awesome Lead Code Resources. You can find the link in the description. Problem 3. Lead code 202. Happy number. The problem asks you to determine if a number is a happy number. Here is what makes a number happy. You start with a positive integer. Replace that number with the sum of the squares of its digits. Keep repeating this process until either you end up with 1, which means the number is happy, or you get stuck in a loop, meaning the number will never reach 1, and it's not happy. One straightforward approach to solve this problem is by using a hash set to keep track of the numbers we have seen. Here is the idea. As you calculate new numbers, add them to the hash set. If you ever encounter a number that's already in the hash set, that means we are in a loop, and the number is not happy. If you reach 1, the number is happy. This approach works, but it uses extra memory to store all the numbers we have seen, which can become inefficient for very large numbers. We can make this more efficient by using the fast and slow pointers technique, similar to detecting cycles in a linked list. Here is how it works. Imagine the starting number as the head of the linked list. Treat each number you get after summing the squares of its digits as a node in a linked list. If we keep getting new numbers without repeating, it's like moving straight through a linked list. If you ever reach a number you have seen before, you have found a cycle. 
To detect the cycle, we use two pointers, a slow pointer that moves one step at a time and a fast pointer that moves two steps at a time. If both pointers eventually meet, you have detected a cycle, meaning the number is not happy. But if the fast pointer reaches one, the number is happy. Here is how the approach looks like in code. First, define a helper function, getNext, that calculates the sum of squares of digits. We start with two pointers, slow at the original number and fast at get next of n. Inside a loop, move the slow pointer one step at a time, which means sum of squares of digits once, and move the fast pointer two steps at a time, which means sum of squares of digits twice. If slow equals fast and it's not one, return false because a cycle has been detected. If fast reaches one, return true because it's a happy number. Here are some more lead code problems you can practice to master this pattern. I have added a link to a blog in the description that contains links to these problems. I hope you found this video helpful. To stay up to date on DSA and system design, consider subscribing to my free newsletter at blog.algomaster.io. If you want to check out the full lead code patterns playlist, click here. I will be making more such videos on important patterns, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss them. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.